NHSFootball.com here at the Four Quarters Online Media Day in Tallahassee. we got the Florida High Seminoles in the house here. Head coach Jared Hickman. Uh, offensive lineman Andrew Harrell on the left, number 73. And then we got Connor Jackson center and defensive end, number 50 on the right. Well, you know, you move up to Class 4A this year, which, you know, it's kind of going bouncing back and forth between the classifications. But, uh, you know, kind of, you know, last year was probably what I would say, the kind of a down year for Florida High, you know, football, considering the tradition that y'all usually have. You know, I mean, what is the biggest thing that, you know, that y'all are trying to improve on from, compared from last year to, to this season? Uh, get back to the playoffs. I mean, that's, you know, when it was the state championship in Orlando, it was always been our goal. Uh, we won't wait for that. But, uh, you know, starts first to get into the playoffs. And so, you know, we missed out on that. We got an opportunity within our district to get a game to, uh, to get ourselves there. And we did make it happen. So, you know, we've got been working extremely hard. Uh, we've got a very good schedule again that's going to you know, test us throughout the year. And so, uh, but it's getting back to the playoffs and getting ourselves an opportunity to get to the playoffs. You know, moving up to Class 4A, you're now in the 4A District 1. You know, you got uh, East Gasden, Walton, and I believe it's. Uh, Mary, Mariana in the district. You know how's that compared to being compared in a district that you had Madison County and Pensacola Catholic last the last two seasons? Yeah, you know, I mean, but, uh, it's still a good district. Uh, it's yes, it's been very good the last couple of years. Been great talent. You know, but being in the three-team district doesn't leave you a whole lot of room for error. So you know, being in the four-team district would be a little better for us. Uh, but uh, it's a good challenge uh, either way. You know, we make sure you are are not. You know, and I, and another thing is, I know y'all lost a couple of key players that transferred out. You know, how do you how do you fill in those shoes that you know, especially when they were talented players that took their talents elsewhere? You know, you don't worry about the, worry about the guys that are here. You worry about the guys that uh, don't care about the whole line. So, uh, it's where the next guy steps in. So, that's developing a program and having young guys that are ready to go. So, all we do is worry about us. Worry about the things that we can control. Uh, and part of adding on to that is we want players who want to be here. You know, if you don't want to be here, you know, we don't want you on our team. Makes sense. Yeah. You know, and, and one of the things I'm going to ask you both of you guys here is, uh, you know, what, you know, what is the one thing that y'all want to improve upon or do differently this year compared to last season? So I'll start with you. Uh, just basically, we got to finish. Like, we got to go play the whole year. We can't just start with the whole year. We got to play at our best. We got to be better each day so we can finish up the season. Place for a um, I think a part of it is the last couple of years we've had a little bit of a lack of vocal leadership, and that's something we're trying to really come back to this year. With our seniors and even some of our underclassmen, you know, really coming back with you know vocal leadership, and we got guys with positive reinforcement and uh, really finishing games. We had a couple of leads and a few big games last year, and, you know, we just couldn't finish. So our strength conditioning program was really ramped up this year. It's one of the toughest summers I've ever been a part of here. Um, so it's just going to be fun to see what happens this season. And one of the final questions I've been asking everybody this today is, the, what is the one game that you're actually looking forward to the most on the schedule? I'll start with you, Connor. Game one, McCullough. Then why? Uh, I think that, you know, of course it's game one. That's, that's the first one you've got to win, game one. You know, you win that game, it's gets a big in-town rival and everything. Uh, we win that game. You know, it really puts us in a great place for our season. What about you, Andrew? I agree. Win that game, you know, that's going to have a high potential. So keep that going. And hey, coach, we'll say the same thing. I think mean, these guys understand what it's going to take. It's like a page for Big Saban and all those other guys. Don't worry about one game at a time. You can't control anything else. Week to week, we're just going one at a time. You got to win game one before you can win game two. You're absolutely right about that. All right. Well, I definitely wish y'all best of luck this season. Appreciate it. Hey, thank you.